Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on a brand new mask that I just got in tonight. Literally maybe about 15 minutes ago. We're going to talk about this mask because I tried to try it, uh, fit it on. And for the most part it fit good, but I started suffocating. I'm like, holy crap, there's no damn holes in this mask. <laughs> so anyway, let me just show you something here so you know what we're going to be uh, looking forward to. Is this particular guy right here. Now, there is a lot of people out there that buy this mask. And I surprisingly got it from um, Party City. And uh, I got it for like, as compared to Amazon.com, I think I got it $20 cheaper. I think I got it for like $20. I think it was about $19 something. Uh, but I think it's because of the uh, cost of it. It's a lot less because of the way they packaged it. It literally came in a plastic bag. Okay, so... But it's okay, it came in perfect, so I'm not going to complain too much. But it makes a big difference in the way things are packaged. That's why sometimes things are a little bit more pricier in some areas. But anyway, this is what we're going to be looking forward to. And this guy right here is called the Mask Boogie Man. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to talk about the mask in itself, okay? So let's get right into that. Alright, now this guy, I already stuffed this. So I'm not going to wear it because I don't want to suffocate on camera. Anyway, I just want to tell you, here's what it looks like here, okay? Alright, let me just turn that around here. Now, like I said, I got this camera a little bit backwards. I'm going to pull it back here a little bit. It's, um, it's definitely different in the way I got it reversed and stuff. So, it's like, do I put it this way or this way? You know, you, you figure it out after a while, but... When I've seen this, um, there was this particular YouTuber who had one, and I just watched it uh, yesterday. Looks absolutely cool. We come to find out when you actually wear this bad boy. Now, I noticed there is, in fact, some eye slits here, as you can see right here. Uh, wait a minute, right there. See the little blue? That's a plastic bag. But you can actually see out of it, okay? But, no, let's get that right. The mouth in itself has no cutaway, no breathing apparatus whatsoever. So literally when I put the mask on, it um, literally it's like putting a plastic bag over your head and you're sucking it in. It's like, <laughs> so I pulled that thing off real quick because, you know, you get scared of that crap. But anyway, I pulled it off so it's like, okay, I can't be doing that unless I make little slits in it. Uh, this mask in itself is comfortable to wear with the exception if you want to breathe. I don't recommend you wearing this, okay? <laughs> anyway, before you actually wear it, I will tell you this, okay? You might want to go ahead and put some slits in the mouth so you can actually breathe out of it. The teeth are very cool looking, see? Right, I'm just trying to get the angle right here a little bit. They are a little decayed due to uh, eating meat or flesh in this case, but it is kind of cool looking. Now, I'd put it on to show you what it looks like, but... Like I said, mm -hmm. now the eyes are kind of spooky looking, so let me just turn him around here, get it over there, up, oh, there it is, and that's what he looks like, okay, same with the other side, you pull back, alright, this is a very cool mask. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to the actual paint scheme, there is uh, black specks all over this, and lots of gray. It really does stand out if you can find the actual right costume for it. There is a nice slit in it, so you can fit it on your head. Uh, even with a big head, it does fit. It's a little snug, but it can fit you. Uh, but like I said, because there's no actual holes in the mouthpiece of it, which is really surprising, uh, it's like sucking in a bag. It's like, it's like you're going you're gonna to suffocate by the mafia, okay? So you don't want that, but anyway. <laughs> You might want to just, you know, cut some holes in it, little slits, without doing any uh, kind of damage. Because if you super stretch it, obviously you're going to tear the latex. But if you actually buy this, okay, I will tell you this. 
Uh, it's better just to uh, display it, in my personal opinion. But you can wear it, like I said. Uh, but you, there has got to be a way where you can actually put um, slits in it where you can breathe without actually super stretching it and tearing it because you will be able to do that. This is a latex. Uh, keep in mind it's from Ghoulish Productions. Everything they make is uh, biodegradable, so yeah, it will decay and all that good stuff. Uh, but this is pretty cool looking in its own way. Seeing this on uh, Amazon, I said, damn, that looks cool. It's wicked looking, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to get it and... Like I did a little shopping on it. Like I said, I came across Party City, who had the same thing, but it had it for $19. I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and get it here. And so it's just the way they package it. That's why it's a lot cheaper. Okay. Now, obviously, Amazon, it might come in a package or it might come in a box. Okay. It's a box. But anyway, let's get a look at this thing here. All right. I'm going to turn this around here a little bit. All right. Got this little Casper type dip on there. Okay. Casper the friendly ghost. Okay, but that's what this thing looks like. I'm gonna pull it back so you can actually see what it looks like. This way. There you go. See what it looks like? He's cool looking. But like I said, I would try to wear it, but you know, it's like as soon as I put it on, I'm like I'm like, oh that's not good. Because it forms a suction on your head because it's tight, especially if you got a big head. Yeah, it's not a good thing, okay? So like I said, you got to do something about that if you expect to wear it, okay? So keep that in mind if you want to buy something like this and you plan on wearing it, you might want to go ahead and do something that's going to allow you to breathe out of it because if you go down the street and you start suffocating, you're going to collapse and die, okay? That's just not a good thing. All right, but anyway, that is my boogeyman mask, okay? And like I said, when it comes to the actual uh, bookcase, I just posted a uh, video of it uh, this morning. Uh, it's bits and pieces. It goes through stages. Show, I didn't show you the actual finalized version of it because we had to buy some more wood to stabilize it so it doesn't, you know, rock back and forth because it's six foot long and five foot high, okay? It's stained. We're going to probably have to hit it again with some more stain, polyurethane it, and then eventually, uh, hopefully by Monday, I'll have it pulled into this uh, back wall here. I don't know if you can see it from here or not, but it is completely clear. It does not have my bookshelves anymore. Uh, and those are going on this opposite wall over here. Uh, I'll show you the room once it gets set up and stuff. I'm going to have to rearrange everything. Put all the masks on that shelf once it's done on Monday, okay? And I'm thinking about putting some lights on it just to give it a Halloween effect to it, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, long story short, that's a work in progress right now. And I'm still slowly buying some masks because I would definitely want to build them up and fill that sh shelf up, which won't take me long because I already got a bunch of them to begin with. All right, so, um, but I have another one coming in probably in the next couple of days. Uh, it is Herman Monster from uh, Ruby's. I definitely want to check that one out. I, I got a bunch of Frankenstein masks. You will notice of my mask collection that mostly they are Frankenstein, but I do got a variety, but mostly Frankenstein monster. I got some demons and I got a few clowns. Get a little bit of everything I'm going to show you here. Eventually once I get them on the shelf I'll do a separate video. But in the meantime this is my boogeyman mask. Okay it is from Ghoulish Productions. It is a Mexican based company that does biodegradable masks and they're reasonably priced and some of their masks are absolutely cool looking. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be pushing out some more videos based on Halloween and horror. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good night, okay? Ooh.